Welcome back. In the previous lesson, we installed and activated the Astra theme. We're now ready to install Elementor and have a quick overview of the Elementor workspace so we can get familiar with the tools and features we'll be dealing with when we're building our landing page. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's install Elementor. So I'll go inside, I'll just go ahead and click plugins to begin with. And because this is a brand new installation of WordPress, I have two default plugins installed already. So I'll just go ahead and select both of them. And in this drop down menu, I'll select delete, then apply that. Let's delete them. And now we have a clean slate to work with. So I'll go ahead and click add new. And we'll be taken to the WordPress plugin repository where we can search for Elementor. It should be the first result right here with over 5 million active installation. I'll go ahead and click install now. And you'll notice that we have many other plugins right here that have the name Elementor in them. So why is that? Other developers can go ahead and create features, tools, and functionalities to extend the power of Elementor and these guys have done that because as you can see Elementor itself is created by Elementor.com but these are the third-party plugins are developed by third-party developers so we'll be using some of these plugins right here as we go along as we build our landing page and you'll get to know which plugin plays which role let's activate Elementor now that it's installed All right, so now we have just one plugin installed and that's Elementor. So let's go ahead and create a page so we can open up the Elementor workspace. So I'll go inside pages, all pages. And as I had mentioned, this is a brand new installation of WordPress. So I have two default pages already created right here, but I don't need these two. So I'll select the two of them. And in this drop down menu, I'll move to trash and apply that. And now we don't have any page. So I'll say add new. And we can go ahead and give our page a name. So let's say home. So let's assume this is our home page. Right here on the far right under template, I'll select under the drop down menu Elementor full width. Then I'll hit publish. And now our page is published. And now that we have our page ready, let's click edit with Elementor. We'll be taken to the front end where we'll be editing the page. So here we are in the front end. And as we edit the page, this is exactly how it's going to look. So we're actually editing the page and seeing the results in real time. On the far left right here, we have this bottom pane right here. This bottom area right here has a few options. We have the update button. As we make changes here, we'll be clicking update and we'll be clicking the preview changes icon right here to view the page with the changes and without these tools. And here we have responsive mode. This is where we'll click when we want to make our page responsive to different screen sizes, smartphones, tablets, and desktop. And we'll do that as we, as we make this landing page responsive. And the next thing right here is the history area where this is where we'll have a list of all the moves we've made, all the changes we've made as we add elements to our page in this session. So if, for example, I add a double column section like that and then maybe add an, a triple column section like that now we have two things added so if we go inside the history you'll notice that we first added this section and then we added this section and we can click right here to go back to the point in time when we only had that section so this is like a time travel area where you can go to any specific point in time when you had certain changes when you had only certain elements looking a certain way and we'll get to see what all these other 
options are for but the part we'll be interacting with it most is this area here and this is the area that provides us with all the tools and features we want to add all the elements we want to add to our website so for example if i could collapse that panel you'll notice we have another panel that says pro so the tools in the basic panel are free if we collapse that and go inside the pro panel you notice they have this small lock right here to show that these tools cannot be dragged and dropped in there when you try to drag there'll be this pop-up that says you need to you need to have the pro version of elementor to be able to use these and then let's collapse that then we have more in, under the general and many other tools embedded under all these panels so we'll be working with the panels that have the free elements because they are more than enough for us to achieve the things we need to achieve this landing page right here the other thing i wanted to mention here is that when we add plugins remember those third party plugins we added let me go inside the dashboard and let's go inside plugins let's say add new let me search for elementor so remember these third-party plugins we just talked about if we install any third-party plugin that was created to extend the power of elementor like essential add-ons for elementor and we will actually install this later they will show up right here as a panel so essential add-ons for elementor which will show up with all the extra tools that it's bringing into elementor and you will find that some of those features that are free with that new plugin are listed right here in the elementor pro version so while elementor itself is charging for those tools these guys will have created tools that do the same thing but provided for free and another thing let's say we're inside we're inside here and we're editing stuff and we want to add something we want to drag a tool an element from here but we can't see it because right now at the moment what we have is settings for this section we can go ahead and click that menu right there and it will bring up these panels that have tools so anytime you can't see these tools click this tiny icon right here and it'll bring up the tools then in here we have more settings which we'll get to interact with as we progress so that's a quick overview of the Elementor workspace and to start creating a web page all we need to do with Elementor is create a section and sections are structured according to the different common use cases so we can have a double column like that and now this is a double column section the columns are demarcated by these broken black lines and the section is demarcated by this blue border and we can resize and we can just drag the columns to resize them if we want to and we can also right click and duplicate a column and now we have three columns to start adding elements inside the web page all we need to do is click that plus sign right there or click this to reveal the tools so if i click that we'll reveal the elements and we can now start dragging them one by one and now when we have an element active like right now it's the image that we're editing it's the element name that will appear here whatever element is selected right here is the element that will appear up here so if I select this section now we're editing the section if I select this image now we're editing the image which means these settings are for the image all right so that's just a quick overview of the Elementor workspace I hope you're now familiar with some of the tools and features of Elementor that we'll be interacting with but of course you'll get to understand how to use most of these other things that we've not touched.